Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's day 17 of my book Colleen, and we'll be talking about all my dark academi academia. Let's get going. Yeah, it's actually quite a few interesting academia that I kind of want to read. So, yeah, let's just get going. So, my first book is Sleeping Goes Live by Fradia and Being Calamity. It's like I keep stumbling into a dark room, searching for a switch to make things bright again. To make me remember, but the switch isn't there, it wasn't there before. Sadie Hussein is starting her third year of high school, this time at the prestigious Alfred Noble Academy and boarding school. After being homeschooled for all her life and feeling like a magnet for misfortune, she's not sure what will happen. What she doesn't expect, though, is her, for her roommate Elizabeth to disappear after seeing his first night, or for people to think she has something to do with it. My next book is No Let the Forest End by C. Jane Drews. Once upon a time, Andrew had cut out his heart and given it to his partner. He was very sure that Thomas had no idea that Andrew would do anything for him. Protect him, lie for him, kill for him. High school senior Andrew Pavelt finds refuge, finds refuge in twisted fairy tales that he writes for the only person who can ground him to reality. Thomas Roy, the boy with perpetually ink-stained hands and hair like autumn leaves, and with his twin sister Dove, inexplicably keeping him in a cool distance upon the return to Wickwood Academy, Andrew finds himself leaning on his friend even more. But something strange is going on with Thomas. His abusive parents have mysteriously vanished and he is rhymes at school with blood on his sleeve. Thomas would say a word about it and shuts down whenever Andrew tries to ask him questions. Stranger still, Thomas is haunted by something, and he seems to have lost interest in his artwork. Whimsically, Mecca by sketches of the monsters from Andrew's wicked stories. My next book is The Temptation of Magic by Megan Scott. As an empty really, Nicole has the ability to kill any deadly supernatural, but if her power ever wakened the wake, the organization to get the one supernaturals will force her to be the royal huntress or kill her like we did her to her mother. To stay safe here, Nicole hides in a small university town, convinced the mythological art collection that the local manual contains a final message from her mother. But before she can study it, Ken McConnell, the wink, more skilled and real, arrives on his own hunt. When they discover his prey has stolen a painting for language, they are forcing to work together. As the creature threatens to expose the girl's powers, a tenuous alliance with Kyan threatens her heart, her true eventual identity is revealed. Kyan will hunt her next. No one disobeys the wake and survives. Especially when the art of death seeking and fears a conspiracy that will change the lives of creatures and humans forever. My next book is Society of Rise by Lauren Lynn Brown. How far would you go to belong? Maya has just has returned to Pinstar for her college reunion. It's been a decade since she graduated, and she's looking forward to seeing old faces and reminiscing about her time there. Time, this visit is special because Maya will also be visiting the graduation of her little sister Naomi. But what should have been a dream weekend because Maya's worst nightmare when she receives the news that Naomi is dead. The police are calling it an accident, but Maya suspects that there is more to the story than they are learning on. My next book is Infinity Alchemist by Casey and Caliendo. For Ashworth, practicing alchemy is a crime. Only the elite few are legally permitted to study the science of magic. So when Ash is rejected by the Lancaster Mage College, he takes a job as the school's groundskeeper instead, forced to learn an alchemy in secret. When he is discovered by the contest sending the brilliant apprentice Ramsey Thorne, Ash is sure he is about to be arrested, but instead of calling the Reds, Ramsey surprises Ash by making him an offer. Ramsey will keep Ash secret if he helps her find a legendary book of swords, a sacred text that gives its reader extraordinary power. As Ash and Ramsey work together and their feelings for each other grow, Ash discovers that the mission is more dangerous than he imagined, pitting them against influential and powerful alchemists, Ash's estranged father included. Ash's journey takes him through the cities and wilds across New Anglia, forcing him to discover his new definition of true power and how far he and other alchemists will go to seize it. My next book is When We Were Silent by Fiona McPhillips. Louise Manson, Manson is the newest student at Highfield Manor, Dublin's most exclusive private school. It seems nearly perfect. The high school arched windows are closed and tall granite pillars. The almost fill of lilac at the front gate and immaculate playing fields. The giggling students, the dusky oak line library, and the dark festering secrets she has come to expose. My next book is Blood Over Bright Hammond by Anne Mai Wong. Magic is made a city of Thailand, an industrial utopia, 
but magic has a cost, and the collectors have come calling. And often since the age of four, Sia Carter has always had more proof, had more to prove than her fellow students. For 20 years, she has devoted every waking moment to the study of magic, fooled by a mad desire to achieve the impossible, to be the first woman ever to admit into the high magic tree. While she finally crossed her way up the ranks to become a high mage, however, she finds that her challenges have just begun. Her new colleagues will stop at nothing to let her know she's unwelcome, beginning with giving her a janitor instead of a qualified job assistant. While what neither Sakana nor her peers realize is that her tactical assistant was once more than janitor before he mopped floors for the mages. Thormil was a nomadic hunter far beyond Tyrant's magical barrier. Ten years have passed since he survived the Pelagius crossing that killed his family. But working for a high mage, he seized the opportunity to finally understand the forces that decimated his tribe, drove him from his homeland, and gave him tarnishing power. My next book is The Night Yet Ended by Katie Gardner. Finding the truth seems impossible when her own dark past has her seeings lies everywhere she looks. From the outside of and psychic dress, Dr. Madeline Pine's life appears picture perfect. She has a beautiful family, a successful mental health practice, and a growing reputation as an expert in female violence. But when she's called to help investigate mysterious death at a boarding school for troubled teenager girls, Madeline hesitates. She's been through tragic cases before, and the one she was entangled in last year nearly destroyed her. Yet she can't turn away when she hears about Charlie Ridley. After Charlie, he was brought barefoot and in pajamas at the bottom of an icy ravine on campus. The police rule her death as a tragic accident, but the private investigator hired by her mother has his doubts. If it were Madeline's daughter who died, she would want to know why. Arriving at the secluded campus in upstate New York, Madeline is met by an unhelpful skeleton staff and four other students staying on campus during winter break. Each seems to hold a piece of the puzzle, and everyone has secrets, Madeline included, but who would kill to protect them? My next book is They Thought They Buried Us by Noninja Ramos. Horror fan and aspiring film director user gets a scholarship to a prestigious boarding school, but that's just the tip of the iceberg. As one of the few students of color and our lady of perpetual mercy, Yuzia immediately feels out of place. A brutal work study schedule makes it impossible to keep up with the actual classes. Every expense from textbook to laundry is put Yuzia into a debt, and the behavior of students and for therapy is unsettling. Yuzia starts having distru- disturbing dreams and the school's past about about the school's past and discovers clues about the fate of other scholarship students. And we take on Yuzia's knowledge of the horror genre to escape from our lady's grasp. My next book is School Spirits by Nate Chuin by and by Megan Chuin. High school can feel like an eternity for some students. It literally is. Many graves are stuck in high school. As if that were already a nightmare, she is also dead. But she can't figure out how she died for the life of her and enter Charlie, the tall boy with a walkman who is straight out of 1995 and Maddie's guide to what Split River High is like on the other side. Now Maddie must also deal with being the new kid in the afterlife where she's stuck with every teen who died at her school for the past 100 years. There's just one they can only remember their deaths, but one but when she tries to conjure that faithful nothing, the only thing she knows for sure is that she was with her boyfriend Xavier before she died. She thinks she was murdered. It's been years since anyone has crossed over, but if Maddie can solve the mystery of her death, she might be able to escape this purgatory. She just needs to answer the eternal who done it. My next book is Trespass Against Us by Leon Kemp. Two years ago, Riley visited a battered and eventually haunted religious view from school Dominic House with his boyfriend, Ethan, and his best friends, Colton and V. Ethan never came out, Colton's leg will never quite heal, V is branded as historical, and Riley has horrific scars as a reminder of that night. Now at 18, Riley hasn't exactly moved on, but he's kept away from all things paranormal, until legendary ghost chaser Jordan Jones shows up with an offer and returns to Dominic House with her to film an episode of a Spirit Seekers TV show. Riley may have vowed to never to return, but he has unfinished business at Dominic House. With a reluctant court and a bee at his side, Riley is determined to find out what happened to Ethan once and for all. And my last book is The Midnight Club by Margaret Harrison. Four Friends at Campus Reunion, A Dark New Way to Relive the Past. How could you leave the past undisturbed when it was hiding parts of you from yourself? It's been 25 years since the Midnight Club was last convened. A tight-knit group of college friends 
Brought in by Late Nights at the Campus in Lottery Magazine. They are also brought in by Something Darker, The Death of the Brewing Friend, Jeanette Jr. Yeah. Um, but now, decades later, a mysterious invitation has brought them back to the pie shrine in Vermont Town when it all began. As the estranged friends gather for a week long campus reunion, they soon learn that the most host has an alter ulterior motive. She wants him to uncover the truth about the night Janet died, and she's provided them with an extraordinary method, a secret substance that helps them not only remember but life the past. And not all my dark academia reads, um, or what I want to read, I should say. Uh, let me know what kind of dark academia you want to read, and otherwise, please like, comment, subscribe, so you'll be notified every time I post. And now I see you tomorrow for day 18. Bye!